hello 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 happy sunday facebook happy sunday facebook let's see who's on this afternoon well it's almost evening in it i don't gonna lie it had gotten to be five o'clock let's see who's on i just want to um just sing a few little praises and just share with you all today for a few minutes and i'm gonna hold you long let me see who's on here first. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, Trisha, my love. Hey, my dear friend, Christine. Hey, Chanel. Whew. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to hold it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Let's see who's coming in. Y'all, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. And I'm going to um, just be on here just, just a few minutes. I'm not going to hold you long. I know um, a lot of people are probably doing what you do on Sunday, maybe with your family or watching football. Of course, I was watching the um, Steeler game and my husband, which is my husband's team, um, cause I didn't even watch the Falcons, cause I'm just so disappointed with them. I didn't, even, and the day I didn't watch, they won. But oh well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm not watching, made them win. But if that's the case, I'm not gonna watch again. Then how about that? But uh, <laughs> um, I watched the Steelers game with my husband, and uh, uh, so way to go to the Steelers, they won. Um, so let's see who's on here. Um, hello, Sister Lisa. I love you. Lynn Sandra, Pastor Brian, love you. Oh, my dear daughter, Angela, love you. Thank God for you all coming on. I'm not going to be on here, but a, a, a little bit, guys. I just, um, I just finished cooking, um, for us, our, our, our Sunday dinner. We ate and we've just been reflecting all day, um, and that's why I want to get on for those that don't know. Um, today, a year ago, I was listed on the transplant list. So when I got up this morning, I just, I, I've been in this, um, I, I've just been so grateful all day. And I'm just, I've just been crying, but it's not, I'm sad. It's just, I'm just so grateful. I don't know if any of you ever been in a position or a situation where you're just so grateful. And I'm just so grateful to God for what he has done in my life. And so I just wanted to get on today and share with you all <clears throat> uh, um, the goodness of the Lord. To my mom, I love you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you, um, Prophetess McDuffie. Love you. Thank God for you, Carissa. Love you too. And um, I just wanted to get on, like I said briefly, I just want to sing a few little songs because it's just... It's so heavy in my in my spirit, and I just hope I can get through this because God has been so good to me, y'all. If you can see the scars, this is where I go. I still have to go and have biopsies done, and they go and they get a piece of my heart, and they test it to just see the, how the heart is functioning, the new heart. And I want you to know in, in, in uh, two weeks, it'll be a year that I've had this heart. And there has not been not one rejection of the heart. Every time I go and have the heart by opposite, it comes back, no rejection. And I have to give God thanks. I have to give him praise. Because there's nothing so great or grand that I have done, y'all. But God's mercy, do y'all understand me on here today? God's mercy is with you. When you get in a situation or a circumstance and it looks like the world is at an end or at a standstill for you, I want you to know God's mercy will kick in. His mercy kicked in for me. For 18 years, I dealt with a bad heart, but he decided he decided October the 27th, 2019, to allow me to receive a new heart. And those of you that know me ever since I've had my new heart, I've not been the same. 
I can go, I can run, I can jump, I can do anything I want to do, except for swim. I can't swim yet. <laughs> I can't do that yet. I haven't gotten okay on that one yet. But when I do, you talking about swimming, I'm going to be swimming. But God has been so good to me. He's been so good to my family, to my husband, to my children, to my mother, to my sisters and brothers, to just my, my church family, to just people in Facebook that know me. I appreciate all of you, and I love you, and I thank you for your prayers. Oh, I thank God for everybody that prayed for me, that have, have uh, wished me well. Even on today, somebody cashed at me and just said, thank you, because you always say such encouraging things. And I can remember when I was in the hospital, the chaplain, he came and he would come and tell me, Miss Taylor, you're not going anywhere. There are too many other people's lives that you got to touch. But y'all, when you're in a situation, like I was in a situation, when your heart was just, at, it, it just, it was not there. It was not pumping what it needed to pump. And even the doctors was, they were coming in and they were shaking their heads saying, you need a, a new heart. And I tell you, the prayers of the righteous avail as much. It only took eight days. When I got listed today, a year ago, I got listed. And eight days later, I got my heart. Amen. And nobody didn't do it but the Lord. Didn't nobody do it but the Lord. Didn't nobody do it. He gets all the glory. He gets all the honor. He gets all the praise. And so today, I just want to sing just a few little songs. And I'm going to let you all go and enjoy your your son, but just share this, just share this with me for a minute. Just share in the, the gratefulness that I have for what God have done for my life. Y'all, there was this time last year, I was so sick. I was so sick. I was so sick. Oh my God, I was so sick, y'all. I was so sick in my body. I, I couldn't eat. They would try to get me to eat. It would be days I just wouldn't eat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The devil desired to sift me as we. He wanted me out of here. He wanted me gone. He wanted me to shut my mouth. He didn't want me to say anything else about our God. Our Savior, our King, our way maker, our way out. Hallelujah. He wanted me to shut my mouth. But it was not God's will. It was not God's will yet. I want to tell somebody that might be sick now. And the enemy may have told you you're not going to make it. If it's not in God's plan, if it's not God's will, you'll be here. You'll be here to do what God has commanded you to do. I thank God for my mother who just celebrated her 77th birthday. I thank God. She's a breast cancer survivor. The cancer didn't take her out. Why? Because it was not the will of God. He still had work for her to do. Somebody on this live, God still got work for you to do. On this Sunday, on this day, hallelujah, God still has some work for you to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. And I'm just so thankful. I thank God how even on yesterday, God just keep on blessing. Somebody told me, I want to take it and get you some groceries. You don't have to get on no phone and call nobody and tell them what you don't have. All you got to do is just tell God. Hallelujah. Tell God all about it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It'll take me days and weeks to tell my story. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because God has been so good to me. I even shared on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How before I got sick. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We were just getting ready to start purchasing a house. But then we had to take all of our savings and put everything into me traveling back and forth, up and down the road to Emory. People don't know the money that we have spent. The money that we had saved in our savings, we had to use it all. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, for my medicine and my traveling, and just for medical expenses, period. But God has been faithful. He's truly been faithful in our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I give him so much praise today. Like I told you, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful in my heart. But I just want to sing just a little of these, this little medley, medley here, if I can. And I'm going to let you all go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just want to say, there are some things.
Let me calm down, y'all, because I'm just too full right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, God. You're just so good, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I may never go. But I am sure of this one thing that God is real for I can feel him in my soul come on y'all sing it with me yes God is real he's real in my soul oh God is real for he has washed and make me whole his love for me is like pure gold yes god is real for i can feel him in my soul real real Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes. He gives me the victory. So many people doubt him. But I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. In the morning, he's real, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, yes, he gives me the victory. So many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Hallelujah. He's a real God. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a real God. He's a he's a, a God that's so real. Hallelujah, Jesus, that when you wake up in the morning, glory be to God, and you have the activities of your limbs, and you're yet clothed in your right mind. Glory be to God. And he's yet making a way, and he's yet opening doors, and he's yet keeping you even in the midst of a pandemic. Can I get somebody to shout glory in the midst of a pandemic? Go God is still keeping his people. He's still keeping you covered under his blood, the saving blood, the delivering blood of Jesus, the healing blood. I thank him today. Hallelujah. I praise his name. Hallelujah for just being so real in my life. He's a promise keeper. He's a way maker. He's our way out. And I just thank him. Glory be to God. I was just thinking how when I was laying up in the hospital, glory be to God, and I would be laying there and just talking with God and telling him all about it. I want to tell somebody on this live today, talk to God about it. I didn't say talk to other people, talk to God. Sometimes there comes a situation in your life, people just not, not going to understand. You're going to have to take it to the Lord in prayer. And when you take it there, leave it there. Glory be to God. Trust God wholly. Trust him wholly that he heard you and that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. And he'll bring you out just like he said he would. He will bring you out. Glory be to God. I just want to say, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Listen, oh, Satan thought he had me bound, but Jesus lifted me. Oh, Satan thought he had me bound. Jesus lifted me. Oh, Satan thought he had me bound. Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. 
Jesus lifted me. Listen, I was lost in a world of sin. Jesus lifted me. I was lost in a world of sin. Jesus lifted me. I was lost in a world of sin. But Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Hallelujah. Anybody on here today been lifted? Your burden's been lifted. Hallelujah. How many know he'll lift your burden? The old folks used to say he's a burden bearer. Hallelujah. And a heavy load sharer. My God, I'm a witness. Glory be to God. This heavy load that I was having with this heart, God lifted that burden. Glory be to God. I give him glory on this live today for being a burden bearer. I want to encourage somebody. Why are you bearing that burden? burden. All you got to do is trust in the Lord. All you got to do is wholly trust in him, wholly lean on him. Give it to God. Give it to God. When it's too much for you, give it to God. Why you keep fumbling with it and fooling with it? Glory be to God. Give it to him. Let him fix it. Let him work it out. He'll do the trust. I love to say he'll do the trust, but if you've never trusted him, you'll never know what he can do for you. <clears throat> So I want to encourage you to trust him. He'll do the trust. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I just want to sing just a little, little of this, and I'm getting ready to get off. My God. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds my future and life is worth the living just because my Savior lives. You know, I was thinking about one night when I was in the hospital. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I began to say, Lord, because you live, hallelujah, I'm going to be able to face this situation. I'm going to be able to, to handle this, God, because you live. And I want you to know today, hallelujah, whatever situation that you are faced with or you're handling or you're facing during these uncertain times, you know, I, I talk with a lot of people. They call for prayer and whatnot. And it's amazing to me that even during this pandemic, glory be to God, a lot of people have not gotten a message yet. Glory be to God. There are a lot of people that are, are living in, they have anxiety attacks. Um, I was at the doctor one day and uh, uh, the lady was talking and, I, and she was just saying, I'm just so scared because I don't know what's going on. But I want to encourage you today, hallelujah, if you, if, you, if you lean on the Lord, if you trust in him, you don't have anything to worry about. You won't have anything to worry about if you get a right relationship with Jesus Christ. During these uncertain times, he will be there for you. Glory be to God. And I want to say, even during this pandemic, God has blessed some of us more than we've ever been blessed in our life. Who you think did it? Did nobody do it but Jesus? Can't nobody do you like him. Can't nobody bring you out of the situation that you're in but him. Just keep on trusting in him. Just keep on relying on him. Keep on and leaning and depending on him. And if you do that, hallelujah, Jesus, he'll be there for you. He will be right there. I just wanted to come on, like I said, briefly. I'm not going to be on here <clears throat> long, but I just thank God for each of you that came on. I just wanted to just say, like I said, I'm just grateful on today. A year ago today, I was listed on the transplant list to receive a new heart. And as you know, I received that heart. And you can see right here this scar. Hallelujah, Jesus. This is, this is the scar from the open heart surgery. And this, this is where they go in monthly and do the biopsies for the heart. 
And I give God glory because in a few weeks I have to go back for my yearly. And it's a it's an all-day affair that I'll be there. Um, they have to go in my groin and, and do all types of tests and all kind of stuff to ensure that the heart is really functioning as it should. But I give God glory, praise, honor, and thanks even now. Glory be to God. I, I know that everything is well. I, I believe him. I trust him. Glory be to God. I don't feel no ways tired. And I don't feel that he brought me this far to leave me now. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to tell somebody, don't you think God brought you this far to bail out on you now? He's not that that kind of God. Hallelujah. Our Lord says, as long as he's on his throne, he's still God and he's still working miracles. He's still pulling people through. He's still pulling people out. He's still saving. He's still delivering. He's still reaching way down and pulling people up out the pit. Hallelujah, Jesus. Why? Because he's God and he does what he want to do, when he want to do it and how he wants to do it. And I thank him. Hallelujah. If he hadn't done it for you yet, don't give up on him. Keep the faith. Keep holding on. Keep trusting in him. Keep believing in him. Keep, hallelujah, Jesus. Keep on keeping on in Jesus' name. I love everybody. I'm so thankful for everybody. I thank God for my husband, hallelujah, Pastor Eric, who has stood with me during these hard times from the beginning, hallelujah, up until now. This man of God has been right beside me, and I thank God for him. I thank God for my children for all of my children glory be to god i thank god for all of them i thank god for tj and and my daughter princess his wife i thank god for them they're over here now and they they they're acting like they don't want me to put them on and they because they know i will <laughs> but i thank god for them i just thank god for all of my children bethany little eric Lindsay, all of our children i'm thankful hallelujah that i'm still here i'm thankful for all of my grandchildren hallelujah i'm just thankful for all of my sisters and brothers, my sisters and brothers in Christ. I am just thankful. I've got so much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. Look what God has done for me. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. You ought to count your many blessings. See what the Lord has done. You know, the enemy wants us to look at what God has not done or what he's not doing. Do we ever just sit and reflect on what God have already done? I love to say, God, if you never do anything else, you've already done more than I expected. Hallelujah. He's done more than I've ever expected. Hallelujah. And I give him glory, honor, and praise. I love you all, and I'm going to let you go and finish enjoying your Sunday. Amen. Continue to pray for me. Hallelujah. As I continue on on this journey, amen, with this new heart, hallelujah, continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Continue to just keep my family lifted up, amen, as we just continue to do the work of the Lord and the will of God and whatever he's commanded our hands to do, that is what we want to do, amen. We want to do whatever God has commanded us to do. That's what you should want to do as well. Whatever God has commanded your hands to do, Get up and be about your father's business. Amen. It's not too late. It's not too early. Oh, God, get up and do what God have called your hands to do. Time is not long. Hallelujah. Y'all hear me? Time is not long. Hallelujah. He's on his way back. We're living in the last of the last days. Glory be to God. Look at the signs of the time. Look at what's going on around you. Glory to God. The word tells us, it encourages us, it emphasizes to us that we are to be sober-minded. We're to be alert. Look around and see what's going on. Hallelujah, Jesus. I thank God for our paraclete. Hallelujah, our helper that's always there for us even in the midst of this pandemic. I'm thankful to God for just keeping us covered under his blood. Amen. So I love everybody. I'm going to let you all go. And uh, it was just so good coming on Facebook. I miss my pausing for prayer, man. But it's whatever God wants now. It's all about whatever God wants, y'all. This thing here now, seek him for what he wants. Hallelujah. It's not about what you want to do or how you think it should be. It's about what God wants now. Come on, y'all. It's about what God. So whatever area, whatever road he's sending you down, glory be to God, just be obedient to whatever he's commanded your hands to do. I love you all. I thank God for you watching on this little live with me today. And maybe you've been blessed, amen. I know I'm just blessed just for being here and being able to just share my testimony 
with you all. So once again, I just encourage you to be obedient to God. I love you, and thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Hit the thing by. Oh, glory be to God. Did you hear this?